Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. I just want a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is one of the quickest videos in our series as a whole. It's about power supplies, and really there's not a whole, whole lot going on here. So what we're gonna do is tell you the different sizes of power supplies. Uh, we're gonna give you some general warnings to watch out for, and then we're gonna show you how to install it, which is incredibly easy because it's hot swap. So let's just go ahead and hop in. So some of the different sizes that you're gonna get are gonna be 495 watt, 750 watt, and 1100 watt. Those are your main three that you're going to see, and that's what's really on our website. But there are some other options as well. You can get 1600 watt, you can get 2000 watt, you can get 2400 watt. Now, generally for those higher sizes, um, especially the 20, uh, 2000 and 2400 watt, you're going to need 220, it's going to be a 220 volt um, in order to get that. Uh, but generally speaking, that's not really normal. That's more customized. Your 750 and 1100 are really kind of the sweet spot which most people run on. And most stuff that we build is 750, which is the most. Uh, popular power supply that's out there. Um, some of the warnings that we recommend, make sure that you have both power supplies uh, are both the same uh, wattage. You can't put a 495 with a 750 or a 750 with 1100, it doesn't work. So let's say one fails and you need to replace it, make sure you match up the exact same one with the one you currently have, otherwise it's gonna throw issues and you won't be able to get the redundancy. So just make sure you have two of the exact same power supplies. And we also tell people to make sure you know the, the hookup at your data center or at your house, depending on where you're using this. Um, some of the power supplies are a uh, 100 to 120 volt, and some of them are the 200 to 240 volt. So depending on what your connection is, just make sure you get the right power supply. So some of those are some of the basic warnings that we like to tell people in advance. So now we're gonna show you is how to actually install it, which again, is super easy because it's hot swap. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We are safe to uh, work on our machine. So it's really easy to remove, say, let's say this was a bad one. It's really easy to remove it. You're just gonna push the orange right here and hook your finger on this clip and it'll just slide right out. So this is a 750 watt. So we need to make sure that we grab another 750 watt. So this is the 495, 750, 1100, and 1600. And we'll show you a close up of those in a second, but we need to make sure we match them. So we're gonna grab our 750 and then we're just gonna simply line it up, slide it in. And when it gets right here, you'll actually see this will kind of clip into place. I'll push from this side to make it easier for you to see but this will actually clip into place right here. And now you know it's firmly in there, so if I had to try to pull it out right now, it is firmly in there. But yeah, it's a really easy upgrade overall. It's one of the easiest upgrades or replacement parts to do for the whole chassis. So let's show you a quick close up of some of the parts. All right, so here's some of the options we discussed earlier, the 495, 750, 1100, and the 1600. There's also a 2000 and 2400 watt options, but these are some of the uh, predominant options and really 750 uh, is the sweet spot. We mainly build with 750 and 1100 watt. And again, when you go into our website, if you um, are building out a server, you will have the option for all three of these when you're building out uh, your 740 or your 740 XD. So, hey, well, thanks for uh, stopping by. If you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if there's anything that you need at all, please email our sales team at sales.cloudengine.com. We custom build Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We do new, we do used, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Take care, guys.